hi everyone welcome back to my channel uh, my name is jason matthew this is the second video i'm going to post it on um, uh, ios xp gui or 9800 gui related stuffs so uh, in the first one we in first video the part one video we covered dashboard and uh, monitoring sessions of it monitoring sessions of it all uh, four sessions are covered now in this video we are going to uh, talk about the configuration uh, part of it so uh, um, even in this video we will not be able to cover the entire thing because it's too much to cover so let's see how much we will be able to cover in this video but uh, we are going to start with the configuration part of it when we talk about configuration we have a lot of things in this so basically you can see here interface layer 2 um, radio configuration routing protocol security okay by the way when we talk about routing protocol this is the one of the biggest difference between aeros and ios so basically this one is an aeros xc device and it's even capable of doing l3 routing so it can even participate in ospf and static routing so you have to keep that in mind when you are deploying this 9800 it's capable of doing a lot of stuffs so uh, that is uh, this is one of the thing that is a uh, uh, routing protocol support so if you want to integrate with your uh, infrastructure using a routing kind of scenario this is also capable of taking care of uh, ospf and static routing previously it was like a complete l2 you will configure the interface and vlan mapping and that's the only thing you will take care of uh, on the other side right but this is a little different uh, than the uh, aeros devices so you keep that in mind. It's one of the biggest difference in the AROS and IOS XC. Okay, uh, then next one is um, security session, services, tags and profiles, wireless and wireless setup. Uh, so wireless setup means we have two different type of setup. One is basic model of configuring it and another one is advanced way of configuring it. Now let's uh, go into each and every one, uh, basically double click on each items, but I'm, I will not be able to cover the entire feature set of it, but I'll be able to show you that uh, GUI, how that GUI looks like. Let me go to uh, logical interfaces. As you can see here, I don't have any port channels configured here. It says CL version of 9800 is directly mapped to an uh, interface uh, through uh, VM. So EXS server and loopback interfaces also, I don't have anything. So basically, uh, if you have interfaces, you will be able to uh, see that here, port channel and all those things. Those are the virtual interfaces. When we talk about uh, Ethernet interfaces, these are the three Ethernet interfaces that comes directly uh, when you are in uh, doing uh, installation of OVF or ISO file installation, right? So whenever you do this uh, deployment, it will ask for three interfaces. Gigabit one is used for out of band um, access. Then gigabit two is used for uh, um, for uh, connecting the management, and three is used for uh, building an HA. So these are the three physical interfaces that comes under uh, VM version of it, and uh, you, you will be able to map that accordingly as per your uh, infrastructure design and all those things. Like I uh, shown in the other video for AP statistics here also, you will be able to select the interface, and when you select the interface, it will show the configuration of it. So this is the place you will be able to uh, change the uh, configuration. So as you can see here, uh, this one is uh, up and down. You'll be able to do that here. Then uh, this uh, layer three, uh, enable layer three address, you can enable or disable it here. Then IP version four, uh, you can select the IP version four and you can set that as a static or DCP or local pool. So you have all the customization here. So how you configure the inter uh, interface uh, that is happens in this particular page. You can select that particular item and go into that and you will be able to set all those things. In AROI side, uh, we will go to controller, we will go to interface, then we will select the interface, we will be able to map it here. So in this case, it's a um, this one is like a, a logical interface and uh, port configuration also, you have this ports here and you will go into the port. Then you will make all these changes on admin side, right? So this is the physical ports on uh, AROI's point of view. And uh, this one is the interfaces coming under uh, the uh, logical point of view. So here, uh, this is the physical ports uh, on uh, virtual or any other interface, it will be something similar. Then you can actually uh, change these things here and all these configuration you will be able to customize it. So this is applicable for all the interfaces. 
uh, for an example gigabit 3 i'm opening that interface then you can see this particular one is configured with a native vlan id of triple uh, one uh, then um, it's a trunk port uh, you will be able to choose whatever you want to do in the advanced side you are uh, actually doing it actually doing the other mapping send up so in this particular WLC, uh, this particular uh, interface two is configured as trunk. It's, if it's a configured as access, you will be able to uh, put the VLAN. Then uh, if you are putting this one as uh, dynamic auto, you can uh, set that. Basically, uh, it's not an L3 port. It's an L2 port. That's why you're uh, having those options. So in uh, gigabit one, you saw that this L3 was enabled because that is a service port. So by default, it will be coming as a uh, L3 port. If you want to use this one, the management side, we never use that as an L3 port. So we are disabling it. Then you will get all the switch port uh, statistics and like switch port basic configurations like access port and trunk port. So this is how you do configuration of uh, your interfaces. Um, so be careful when you are uh, working on this one. This is the, uh, this is the ports uh, that is going to be used in the packet. Okay, so you have to uh, create your own design, how you want to use that interface and based on that, you will be able to uh, map it here. And gigabit three is going to be used for um, the uh, redundancy management. So I'm not going to uh, do this one. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to change anything. I'll be covering the uh, high availability configuration in a different video. So uh, in that time, we will talk about this particular interface. So basically, uh, this is the page to configure all the uh, interfaces, the physical interfaces of your um, WLC and iOS XC. Then we already covered uh, logical interfaces. Then next one is wireless. When we say wireless, we have to define what is the wireless management VLAN that we are going to use it. You can refer to the uh, day zero configuration video to uh, find how to map this interface for wireless management. So this is, these are the three, uh, three sub options under interface. So now let's go to next section uh, that is L2. As you can see here, these are my SVA interfaces means L3 interfaces of my VLANs. Then these are the VLANs. That's uh, basically the VLAN database of it. So you, you can connect this one with iOS uh, structure. Don't worry about the iOS part of it. So basically, these are the maps happening on the back uh, in iOS XC. So this is the VLAN ID. So first thing you have to create a VLAN ID. When you have a VLAN ID, you will be able to create an SVI for that. So these are the SVIs for me uh, on this particular controller. And VLAN groups, if you have any VLAN groups, uh, this is the one uh, going to use it for VLAN groups. So here also you can uh, go into the particular interface and configure that interface. As you can see here, uh, when you click on the interface, you will be able to see that uh, interface here. This is the one uh, connects to my infrastructure and this is where we configured um, uh, the IP address. If you want to enable IP version 6, you can enable it here. Then um, the MTU size, then in advanced side, you will be able to configure the ACL and all those things. So, so in case of uh, AirOS, uh, we were able to uh, use the CPU ACL and you have another ACL that you can map to the uh, logical interfaces. But here, uh, as you can see, this ACL mapping can be done on the physical interface uh, or uh, on the other, uh, the logical interfaces side of it, SPI. Uh, but in the ROI side, you have to stick with CPU ACL and on the other ACL to differentiate these two. That's how you configure the uh, interfaces, uh, basically the SVI interfaces here. So this is the SVI interfaces. Uh, the same way you can go to VLAN and you can click on your VLAN and you can uh, put the name. So as I said, when you say VLAN, that's a uh, VLAN database. And you can do the uh, interfaces that uh, you, if you want to map that interface into this one, you can actually do that. So basically, you are doing that uh, interface mapping into that VLAN. So you can do uh, this kind of customization. Uh, but in our case, we have only one interface mapped to uh, trunk port. So that trunk port interface is mapped to this one and that configuration is done already. So we are not going to change it here, but this is the way you are configuring it. Even in VLAN group, uh, you can add uh, your uh, VLANs. You can actually uh, create the VLAN list. You can uh, give one to triple one. Uh, all the VLANs will be uh, mapped into one group. So that's how you will be able to create the VLAN group. Basically in L2, these are the options under uh, L2 for 9800. 
then uh, next one is uh, VTP. So um, this one, as I said, it's uh, capable of doing uh, VTP mode. So if you want to use it, you can give uh, uh, the domain name and all those things. And so using this configuration, you can even uh, participate in VTP. So this was not uh, something that was available on AirOS. Uh, so uh, you can keep that in mind because this feature is also available with 9800. Because this one is getting the all the advantages from uh, iOS XE. So whatever features you have in iOS XE, that is also available here. So it's up to you how you want to use it. So we are saying this one is a wireless LAN controller, but you also have a lot of other capabilities in the back. Let's go into uh, next uh, section that is radio configuration. So under radio configuration, you have multiple options. So let me go into clean air first. So this is nothing but the clean air con configuration for each radio. Basically, this is the um, 5 gigahertz band configuration for clean air. And this is the configuration for 2.4. In each radio, you have general tab and trap configuration. So basically, you are getting this configuration under uh, wireless. Then you have uh, radio under that you have clean air so this was your clean air configuration for the radio so that same configuration actually got converted into uh, this model so it's this is the clean air configuration for uh, 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz so little organized way of showing things then next one is rrm so as you can see here all the rrm related steps are here and uh, that way of uh, configuring is little different here so this is the RF, uh, RRM, right? So you will go to RRM on the radio, RF grouping, PPC, DCA, coverage, general, all these things are coming as uh, different, different uh, pages, right? So that thing is got converted into this model. So uh, 5 gigahertz, all the things will come under 5 gigahertz will be here. Then you can see general configuration for 5 gigahertz, coverage, uh, all detection kind of uh, features are here. Then DCA is here all the DCA related steps are here, then TPC, then RF grouping. So all the generic or wireless related RRM related steps are coming under here. So you have to just go to RRM, all the things are available in one tab. Then this is for 2.4, the same thing is getting replicated here, DCA, TPC, RF grouping and everything. Then FRA, uh, this is the flexible radio assignment part of it. So this, if you want to use that flexible radio assignment part, you will be able to use this. So these are the uh, RRM configurations. Uh, it's well organized and it's very easy to use because everything is coming under single page kind of scenario. So you can actually uh, use this page uh, for configuring RRM related steps. Let me go into uh, next one parameters. So as you can see here, this is the uh, EDCA parameters, DFS, and we have multiple um, sub options under uh, each radio. So that got converted into again, same model parameters. Under that you can uh, see EDCA parameters and DFS uh, related stuffs and uh, whatever configuration comes under the parameters section. So they organized everything into one section and they put it in this one. Let's go into the next one now that is um, high throughput. So when we say high throughput, we have 11N, 11AC, 11AX. So AX uh, shows uh, all the available options on AX. AC shows, uh, 11AC shows 11AC options here. So basically all the high throughput one other than uh, ABG, will come under this. So it's, this is for uh, 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. So you can see one difference, main difference here, 11 AC was not available for 2.4, but AX is available. So if you are going for 11 AX AP, so you will be able to use this. So you have to keep that in mind in 2.4, you will not see any 11 AC because you already know that it's not even supported. But AX is bringing back that 2.4. So this is one of the, uh, thing you can actually see it here. This is the high throughput configurations available on the GUI. Uh, let's go into the next one that is network configuration. So this is the basic configuration of uh, general uh, uh, radio configuration. So you can see uh, 5 gigahertz radio status and all those things. So basically uh, under this you have network configuration here, right? So this is the network configuration getting converted here. 2.4 and 5 gigahertz you have both the things here you can actually set your uh, data rates and basically whatever you are seeing here getting converted here that's it okay so uh, radio configurations on this then next one uh, we will go into 
media parameters so this is nothing but how you are handling the uh, media um, so the uh, traffic like multicast traffic media streaming voice control uh, the ca uh, call admission control traffic stream metric so all those things coming here um, basically all the media configurations under here you can see this media configurations uh, voice video media so this one is getting converted into this view so you will be getting all of these uh, media related configurations here uh, so these are the options available under radio so whatever things you are seeing here as uh, like this so all the options under 11 a n a c and b g n so we had these many pages under uh, these configurations for radio side that is getting converted into all these sub options like rrm parameters high throughput network media parameters and clean air so basically this one covers the entire radio configurations for your wls with this uh, we will close the part two video here uh, with the radio configurations and uh, we will uh, go to the next section of uh, routing protocol from next video thank you for watching